Now here the question is if R and R dash are radius of circles S equals zero and S dash equals zero. So we have two circles S equal to zero and S dash equal zero and radius of this circle is R and radius of this circle is R dash. And we are given two circles which are S upon R plus minus S dash upon R dash equals zero. Now we have to find angle between these two circles at their point of intersection. Now basically this is a standard result. These two circles, they'll intersect orthogonally. That means angle between the two circles is pi by two. So it'll be this option three. Now one way of proving it can be, we can consider two circles which are S plus lambda s dash equals zero and s minus lambda s dash equals zero where s is x square plus y square plus 2 g1 x plus 2 f1 y plus c1 equals zero and s dash is x square plus y square plus 2 g2 x plus 2 f2 y plus c2 equals zero. Now, equation of these two circles will be given by x square 1 plus minus lambda plus y square 1 plus minus lambda plus 2 g1 plus minus lambda g2 x plus 2 f1 plus minus lambda f2 y plus c1 plus minus lambda c2 equals to 0 or we can write this equation as x square plus y square plus 2 g1 plus minus lambda g2 upon 1 plus minus lambda into x plus 2 f1 plus minus lambda f2 upon 1 plus minus lambda plus c1 plus minus lambda c2 upon 1 plus minus lambda equals 0. Now we find the value of lambda so that these two circles they intersect orthogonally. Now they will intersect orthogonally if 2 g1 g2 plus f1 f2 it is equal to c1 plus c2. So we can write Two times g1 plus lambda g2 upon 1 plus lambda into g1 minus lambda g2 upon 1 minus lambda plus f1 plus lambda f2 upon 1 plus lambda into f1 minus lambda f2 upon 1 minus lambda it is equal to c1 plus c2 and that will be c1 minus lambda c2 upon 1 minus lambda plus c1 plus lambda c2 upon 1 plus lambda. Now we can write this as 2 g1 square minus lambda square g2 square plus f1 square minus lambda square f2 square. Now this 1 plus lambda 1 minus lambda will cancel and here it will be c1 1 plus lambda plus c1 1 minus lambda so there will be 2 c1 and here will be minus 2 lambda square c2 now what we will do is we will take terms of lambda together and other terms together and also this 2 will cancel so we can write g1 square plus f1 square minus c1 it is equal to lambda square g2 square plus f2 square minus c2. Now this is basically r1 square and this is lambda square and this is r2 square. So lambda is plus minus r1 upon r2. So these two circles they will be orthogonal if s plus minus r1 upon r2 s dash equals to 0 or we can rearrange this as s upon r1 plus minus 
S dash upon R2 equals to zero will represent two circles that will intersect orthogonally. So their angle of intersection will be pi by two.